and welcome to another video by me. First video in quite a while and again, automatically, instantly sitting here without a guitar on my lap. Um, and that's because I've got a new guitar here. Whether you can see this box in shot, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I've decided I need to get back in the YouTube game. I need to get back on the YouTube horse. Um, I've got so much stuff that I haven't covered. Uh, and it's just kind of, you know, when it almost becomes a little bit kind of overbearing and a bit kind of daunting because there is too much. Uh, but for now, we're covering my new guitar, my new guitar day. Um, before anyone gets too kind of shitty and a bit, because I had someone make a funny comment once on a video I've done like this, it is a second hand guitar. Um, and a certain person didn't like the fact that I was unboxing something second hand and said it had already been unboxed so therefore it wasn't an unboxing but to me this box has been delivered today and I haven't unboxed it so for me and hopefully you guys this um, yeah th this is an unboxing I am taking something out of a box me and um, my mate Max were laughing about this because we're now doing a podcast together. Um, why Mag? Why Mag? Why M A G? Uh, it's on Spotify and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, we'd covered this kind of guy having a little bit of a dig at me unboxing. Bizarrely, it was there's an ice cream van outside. Anyone want an ice cream? Um, bizarrely, it was me um, unboxing the Behringer interface that I use. Uh, but anyway. Let's not go over that. Unboxing time. I'm still unsure whether to title this video with the actual guitar. I know potentially I could get more hits if I titled it with the guitar because I know when I was looking for videos there wasn't an awful lot of them. Um, so potentially for people like myself, I could be helping people out. Um, but I'll I'll title it when it comes to a full review. Review demo. I don't really do reviews. Who who am I? Um, there's some cotton. But for now, this will be an unboxing and maybe some sound bites. This is from, by the way, a wonderful guy um, called Dan who is um, also under the name of Underfluked, Underfluked Guitars. He's also sent me a fuzz pedal which is again when I list at the end of this some of the stuff that I've got to um, properly demo uh, that is on that list. It's uh, a free knob fuzz. Um, we have fuzz level your um, output level and uh, a, a really cool bias knob control on it as well. It's upside down. So this guitar isn't a completely random purchase but kind of is a completely random purchase I've, I've liked these guitars for quite a while I remember seeing them um, when they first came out and uh, I think they were cool they've got a very cool vibe to them it's um something different to sort of anything else I have so yeah when I was offered it for a, a really 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 good price I thought, fuck it. Yeah, there's a couple of bits and pieces I'd laying around, but I, I wasn't playing very much. So I could part ways with some bits and pieces to get this. And also, this is an awesome way, for people who, who don't do, this is an awesome way as well of documenting and unboxing um, in case there's any insurance issues. Fingers crossed, the case looks absolutely brilliant. It's a spider, spider case shaped, um, which, um, looks like it's done its job with five latches. Are we ready? Can you guess what it is yet? I think if you actually guessed what it was, you'd almost deserve the guitar because 
it's a bit of a random one. There it is. And he wasn't lying when he said it is literally in perfect condition. But yeah, it's very cool. I'll get this shit out of the way and sit up and we'll talk about it a bit more. So yeah, this is the Supro 2030 Hampton. Uh, it may even be called a, a 2030 JB Hampton or something like that. But it is what it is. Like I say, I've seen them about before. I think I saw them at one of the Birmingham guitar shows on one of the sort of dealer stands. And it's just a very cool, very, very different vibe and something I don't have. Um, and yeah, they're just, they're just very, very, very different. And I do like a little bit of different. I've got a Strat, I've got a couple of tellies. Um, but you know, my Gibson Les Paul isn't your normal Gibson Les Paul. Um, and I've got my Shergold and then I've got a couple of Gordon Smiths and generally speaking, they're all a little bit different. Um, and this definitely fits into that mold. It is. I'll get up the spec sheet, but it's generally speaking quite a standard construction. It is, apparently, according to Supro, it is a vintage Supro body design, set neck with a black satin finish, which I'll put some pictures up for that. It's really cool how it goes from, um, I don't know if you'll see it, but it goes from a gloss body into a satin finished neck, just in the playing area of the neck. Um, does seem to feel really nice. Um, when it's three vintage gold foil pickups, 50s wiring with volume and tone controls, five position pickup switch, wave tailpiece, I can see why they call it a wave, um, alder body, dot and lays, 6,100 frets. I think it's actually got like 22 frets, but you know, we won't pick. Um, 12 inch radius fretboard and a 25 and a half inch scale. So yeah, see, so, um, Alder body, maple neck, rosewood fingerboard. Um, the pickups are kind of mini humbuckers. The single pickup one and the double pickup model of this, they do both. Um, the pickups are a lot bigger. Um, whether that alters the output or the sound, I'm not 100% sure. I haven't played the others, but the others look a lot more like a humbucker size, whereas this is very much like a, yeah, a mini humbucker. So I'm going to get this plugged in and see what sounds it makes. Um, I am, alas, running out of time this evening to do sounds, so that might be, um, I might record some sounds at the weekend. So if I'm dressed entirely different, um, yeah, that will be why. Uh, or perhaps I'll just leave the unboxing separately. We could do that. This is just a mystery unboxing of a new guitar. So yeah, we'll do that, and then I shall post a video up with the title of Supro 2030 JB, Hampton, whatever it's called, um, for a, a, a full sort of like demo and tone tasting session. I keep laughing because um, me and a couple of mates always refer to a gentleman's sausage as a Hampton. So um, yeah, this is a gentleman's sausage. Doesn't look like a gentleman's sausage that I've ever seen. But yeah, I love it. This is definitely a different and a very, very cool vibe with the sort of massively offset body and the sort of massive top horn Hampton and the offset head stelk as well. Made in Indonesia, no surprise there is there. So, um, but yeah, it's just a very, very different vibe. I'll get some sounds and I'll do a, like I say, a full, a full demo so soon. But, um, yeah, going forward, like I said, I've got got so much stuff and a bit overwhelmed with like pedals, basically. I mean, I still haven't done a full demo of the actual amps. I've got a Brent Hines Terror and a Vox AC15. If you'd like to see either of those in depth, then let me know. Um, I am limited by volume mode because I do play in a bedroom in a terraced house, so I can't be doing the whole kind of like this is what it sounds like at this volume. Pedal wise, I've got three. Cytec pedals. I think I've done the Woofy or the Coco, but I've got the Woofy, the Coco, and the Pandora Fuzz. I've just now got the new MyFoss High Road Joey Land with Signature Fuzz. Um, the Antares by Tate Effects is a brilliant sort of uh, 
what do you call it, like your mid-boosting overdrive, your sort of Tube Screamer-esque overdrive. It's got a lovely clean blend feature on it um, that you can dial in. I've got the 4PFX Dane, but I still haven't done a demo on, partly because it just seems like overdone. So many people have done the Dane, um, but why not? I've got two tape effects Razor Deads. I've got the Germanian and the Silicone one, so maybe do a side-by-side -side on those. Um, I've got a wonderful JSA compressor, um, the Eureka. I've got a Hello Sailor, KOT, which is his take on obviously the King of Tone, but he calls it the Kilo Oscar Tango. Um, there's an interesting story to go with that, so if and when I demo that, I'll tell that tale and send some pictures up if I can get Joe's um, permission, but he seemed to find it absolutely hilarious. Um, like I say, I've got the Underflute, the guy I got this from, without things falling down. Um, he also sent me this a while back, the fuzzer, which is, like I said, a free dial fuzz, fuzz with um, output level, fuzz level, and a bias control. So you can go from pretty much no fuzz signal to a oversaturated fuzz signal where it just spits and farts and coughs and puffs. Um, yeah, uh, and various other bits and pieces. I've got a long amp chorus pedal. Uh, I've got the MXR Phase 90, but the I Love Dust version, which sounds absolutely no different. It just looks different. Uh, a big one is I've got the Stone Def Tremotron, uh, which is a more than you ever need tremolo pedal. Uh, the Warus ARP 87. Again, these, some of these are pedals that have been on my board for a while, but I just haven't done anything with. And then I've got a couple of guitars I haven't really done anything with. So anyone who's watched my channel for a while, I've got a Chipson. And Matt's now had a massive re sort of makeover. Uh, and rebranded it. Because again, I can understand why, but a lot of people got a bit pissy about the whole kind of Chipson ripping off Gibson. Which they do. They have. It is. Etc. Um, so to get around that, I've just completely rebranded it. I've, I've took the headstock back to bare, um, sprayed it black and put a couple of my own decals on it and sort of made it part and parcel of the same as my offset but I think I've done a couple of videos with the sort of Johnston brand which was my dad's um, my dad's name so sort of a homage to him. Um, I'm looking around trying to think if there's anything else. I've got a new cabinet coming soon uh, from Zilla, not Zilla, I've got a Zilla from Noisy Hammer, who are a local Norwich company. He's making me a little two by 12. It's gonna be slightly smaller than the Zilla, but a bit fancier in construction. Uh, he used to be a sound engineer and he's sort of, he's been dabbling with bits and pieces. He, sort of, he knows what he's doing. So that'll be good, hopefully. A very tight sound, but punchy. Um, and I've got a couple of guitars on route as well. A couple of extra guitars. So I might be selling another couple of bits and pieces as well. Anyway, I shall let you go. I shall go and get this plugged in before it's too late in the evening and the neighbours are having dinner and don't want to hear me rattling around playing my... in my way. Um, but yeah, cheers for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you found it remotely interesting. Uh, again, I can understand why you might not have done, but if you haven't, then just don't watch it. Simple as that. There's no need for negativity, thumbs downs and awkward shitty comments. Um, but yeah, there will be a full sort of demo to come soon. Anyway, cheers. Hope you're well. Bye-bye.